June the 23rd, England will decide whether it's going to stay in the EU or whether we're going to leave. This is an important choice for the people of the United Kingdom. Here we interview students from Farnham College to see how they will be affected by the EU referendum. How do you think the EU referendum will affect you if we vote to leave? I believe that as a student it will affect my uh, decisions in life as uh, it will affect how many jobs I'm able to get into. Uh, like if we were to stay in the EU, obviously there's a lot of EU related jobs and that obviously those opportunities would be, would be gone and we'll be unsure about the opportunities that are available if we were to leave, even if there are more. I don't think it will affect me in any way. They do whatever they want. doesn't matter about my opinion. Around 3 million jobs are linked to the EU. This would affect the amount of jobs available to the public if Britain were to leave. How do you think the EU referendum will affect you if we vote to leave? It's hard to say, I think, because um, it depends on the deal you get. And that's the kind of the scary thing is that nobody really knows what would happen. The way I understand it is that the deal is entirely made by the rest of the EU, but without Britain's participation. And so it's like a divorce where one person wants to leave and the other person makes the entire deal. I can't see how it'd be favourable. I understand the reasons for leaving the EU. Personally, I think it's fine the way it is. I think we should just stay. That could just be me not liking change. Many citizens are worried about how it will make travelling to other countries more difficult if Britain decide to leave the EU. Well, I have a father who lives in another country and I realise it's going to be much harder for him to, to come to this country to visit me or any, anyone within the EU going on holiday to England, it'll be much harder for them. Stunt kind of the tourist growth in those countries and I feel like that will have a real downer effect on their economy as well as possibly ours due to tourism in our country setting up these organisations in order for us to go abroad to these countries in the EU. Here we interview the MP Jeremy Hunt at his Hindhead constituency office. Do you think that the EU referendum will affect the NHS in terms of employment as you employ health professionals from abroad? So people from France, say, coming to work over here. Well, at the moment, uh, we have about 100,000 people working in the health and social care system, and they are incredibly important to delivering the high standard of care that we always want to deliver in the NHS. And so I do have a worry that um, if we were to vote to leave the EU, uh, in a period of uncertainty over visas and rights to work and rights to remain in the UK, some of them may choose to go home. Thank you. Um, what effect will a leave vote have on the UK economy? Long term, uh, my own view is that full access to the largest single market in the world, 500 million people, um, will make us richer mm. and more successful. And my, my concern is that um, you know, if we were to leave the EU, we might not be able to negotiate as good access to that vitally important single market free trade area. But I recognise that there are differences yeah. of opinion on that. Do you think if we stay in the European Union, we will be asked to join the Eurozone? So will that bring us closer as a union or will that get England to be more agitated with them forcing ideas on us? Well, I think the good news is that the deal that David Cameron secured um, means that Britain can never be forced to join the Eurozone. And not only that, but um, that the countries who don't join the Eurozone are protected inside the EU mm. from any um, negative consequences of not being part of the Euro. So the Euro countries can't decide to do things that will impact countries that aren't in the Euro. For the first time ever, European treaty explicitly says that there is more than one currency inside the EU. So uh, I think that's something that can put people's minds at rest. The open border policy is making it easier for, for terrorists to hop from country to country with the recent Paris attacks. They managed to get into Belgium without being noticed, as it were, just by hopping across. If England leaves, do you think that will make already a safe border even safer? Well, I think you know that's a, a fallacious argument because you know, on that basis, you could say, well, let's uh, insert border controls and passport controls between England and Wales, because it will make it harder mm. for criminals to travel between England and Wales. The truth is, when you have open borders, it makes it harder, it makes it easier for everyone to travel across those mm. borders. And uh, there are 
plus points and minus points. Um, of course, on one level, travel is easier between countries that have open borders. But of course, the deal that we have negotiated uh, means that we are not part of the Schengen open border area. So we still do have border controls between ourselves and EU countries. But what we get from being part of the EU is uh, tremendously help security collaboration. Okay, last but not least, um, your opinion on the whole thing. Do you think we should leave? Do you think we should stay? Well, I'm someone who thinks we should stay. I don't think the EU is perfect. Mm. Um, but I would say this, you know, we are a small country off the north coast of Europe, 1% of the world's population. We don't have an empire, but we're still probably the fifth most powerful country on the planet. The EU is a big voice in the world, and I want Britain to be at the top table. We're one of the big three in Europe. Mm. Uh, our voice counts for an awful lot in Europe, as you can see from David Cameron's agreement. And I think if we left the EU, we would be a weaker country. As of the 24th of March, 163 Conservatives have declared they want to remain in the EU, and 130 have declared that they want to leave. I think the EU referendum will affect you if we vote to leave. Well, I think there's pros and cons to saying both in and leaving, so I don't. I think it will affect us either way. So, personally, I don't have a preference. Um, I think that we should vote to leave, um, and I feel this because it's going to benefit us in the long term uh, to give a more private uh, society.